we are Soda City Devs, and this is our app, Atello. I am Andrew Hughes. I am Anthony Lieb. I'm Mitchell Carroll. And I'm Thomas Lloyd. So, currently, there's no social media app that's designed exclusively for fitness-oriented individuals. There's apps like Instagram and Snapchat, but these apps are kind of just tailored towards the general user. Uh, and as a result, there's lots of distracting content. There's ads, uh, there's AI content, um, short form content that is designed to keep you sucked into the app, algorithms that show you addictive content. Uh, in general, this just creates a really addictive social media experience, and this is unhealthy in the long term. <clears throat> also, there's a social pressure on these apps to maintain a sort of false inflated online image uh, through either posting edited photos, Photoshop photos, or just pretending to be someone that you're not online. So, Otello is our social media app. And this app is designed for fitness users, um, fitness-oriented individuals, and we're hoping that we're going to avoid these problems that exist with current social media uh, by tailoring all the features of the app for gym enthusiasts. So, how are we gonna do this? Well. For one, the design is very minimalistic and focused. There's no ads or any distracting content. Uh, and all, also, there's no algorithm that's going to recommend you addictive content to keep you locked into the app for hours at a time. On top of that, uh, the app will feature a fitness journal uh, where you can keep track of your gym progress. Um, you can do this through keeping a history of your workouts and also by recording your max lifts. You can keep up with your friends on the app as well uh, by showing them your gym progress and viewing their gym progress. This allows you to spread your fitness knowledge and receive fitness knowledge from others that can improve your routine. Overall, you can choose how you want to use this app. You can either use it privately as a workout journal and not post your workouts, or you can choose to post your workouts for others to see and take part in the community aspect of the app. What this does is it creates an environment where there's no social pressure to make a false public image or to pretend to be someone that you're not online. Now let's move on to the technology section. So for our social media platform, we decided to make a mobile app. Uh, we used React Native, but we did originally look into um, uh, native apps like uh, Swift UI or Kotlin for Android. But we decided to use React Native because we wanted to build a uh, Android and iOS app with the same co code base with minimal changes to the code base. Uh, we use Firebase for our authentication and Firestore for our database. And um, so for our front end, we originally were using Expo, which is kind of an offspring of uh, React Native. Uh, but we, we, we chose to use this because we, we thought that it would allow us to use some of the features like the camera that is not natively accessible to React Native. And we ran into some issues with Expo, like we had issues with building our APK and using the off-site servers that Expo requires you to use to build APKs. And ultimately we decided to rewrite the project from scratch um, for our beta release. And so once we uh, rebuilt our, our app from scratch in React Native, uh, just vanilla, we were able to recreate our Firestore and set up Firestore to actually work correctly. We, we redesigned the database collections um, and overall it just became a much more uh, better, it, it just became a better work environment. It boosted productivity. Um, next, we'll move into our demo. So to start off the demo, we'd like to put you in the headspace of one of our average users. So uh, we'll be following the story of Elizabeth Lee. Elizabeth Lee is a 45-year-old physical therapist who likes to work out to maintain her physical health. Uh, she wanted to uh, keep track of her workouts using the app and stuff, so we uh, gave her the solution. But uh, as you can see, signing in is very simple. You'll just start off by uh, putting your first name, last name, an email, a username, and a password in. And then uh, you're required to upload a profile picture. Then past that, you're all good to go.
next we'll go on to the home page. So the home page is where you can see um, everyone's posts, um, what everyone's up to with their workouts, their routines. Um, so using this, Elizabeth is able to keep track of her friend's progress, compare herself against them. Um, she can comment on their posts, give them some words of wisdom, or, you know, just give them some encouragement if she wants to. Um, yeah, so you can go do that here. Uh, she also has the ability to go and like their posts too as well. Um, doing this is kind of like what Atel means for us. Uh, really just giving people encouragement, keeping it, it's very positive. Um, there's no dislike button, it's just likes and comments, you know, make sure we create a nice positive space. Um, and now we can move on to the workout page. So the workouts tab, here's where you can see your saved workouts journal. Um, so to create a workout, you can hit this plus button down here. And today we did push day. And we'll just say this was a killer workout for my chest. And first we'll start off with some bench press, just give some example weights. Start off light for Warm up. Then uh, just some more examples. We'll add that exercise. You can see it gets added to this list up here. I'll just add one more, just for demonstration purposes. And then we'll add the set, add the exercise. And then once we get down to the bottom, uh, so you'll have the option to either save a workout or post a workout. Saving a workout is just gonna be for your private journal. Uh, nobody else can see this on the homepage. It's just for you to, to, to keep track of your, of your daily exercises. Posting a workout posts it to the public homepage for everybody to see. And that is whenever you'll want to add a progress picture. You can also add a progress picture to a private workout, um, but it's required for public workouts. Post it, get a little confirmation, go back to the home page. And if we go up and refresh, then we can see that it shows up right here. All right, now let's take a look at the search feature. So the search feature is where Elizabeth is going to be able to make connections with other users. So if she sees some content on the home page that she likes, she can search up that user and then she can choose to follow them. Also, she can take a look at what their max lift numbers are, as well as their bio. And by following the user, it'll add them to her list of friends uh, so that she can keep track of everybody in the, uh, in the future. Next, we'll take a look at the profile page. So as you can see, there's a edit profile option. So Elizabeth can easily go in and keep track of her max lifts, those being uh, bench, squats, and deadlifts. And once she gets done adding her maxes, she can go back to the friends list and check on where her friends max lifts are at. So she can keep a little bit of friendly competition and see where she stands against others. And with that being said, let's go on to the closing remarks. So by using Atello, um, Elizabeth is able to improve her fitness journey um, through many ways, uh, specifically with the, really the gym progress, keeping your safe workouts. Uh, it's a way to you know just see how far you've come. And sometimes in a gym, it's just very hard to see that progress. But when you keep a track of a record of what you've been doing, you can really look back and say like, hey, I'm lifting like 10 pounds more than I was you know a month ago. Um, so that's really what we want to do here with Atello is just keep things positive, keep people feeling good about themselves, and just get as many people into the gym as possible. Yeah, and being able to uh, see what others are doing, she can find a lot of valuable information from her friends. She's able to see uh, what exercises they're doing, add those to her routine. Uh, she's able to see uh, what kind of diets they've been put on, what kind of recipes they've been making, um, and add those to her recipe book uh, so that she can you know, build some high protein meals uh, for her gym goals. Um, and being able to connect with her friends it's just a really powerful thing, especially in the gym, uh, where you're looking for as much pro positivity and as much uh, positive reinforcement as possible. 
Yeah, overall, we were just really dissatisfied with the way that current social media seems to divide people. Uh, just the organization and structure of it, people are always pitted against each other, uh, comparing themselves based off of arbitrary numbers like likes and followers, things that don't really matter. Uh, and just in general, it makes a very toxic environment. And so it's our hope that Atello will break this cycle and that it will provide fitness lovers with a community where they can connect with others and pursue their fitness journeys in a healthy and happy way. And with all that being said, uh, thanks for viewing our presentation, and we hope to see you guys on the homepage soon.